Let's model a string on a guitar like this. A string held using two boundaries, known as fixed boundaries. These are two points where the string cannot move. We call these points nodes because there is no displacement. A guitar string has a number of frequencies at which it will naturally vibrate. This depends on the tension of the string, its density, and its length. So let's see how length affects the vibration. Let's say this piece of string has a length L. We can vibrate the string at a certain frequency to form a standing wave pattern with only one loop. If I extend the standing wave like this, can you see how the wavelength is twice the length of the string? Using the wave equation, frequency equals wave speed divided by wavelength. I can substitute this in, so frequency is equal to wave speed divided by 2L. We can do a similar analysis for a string vibrating with two loops, where there are three nodes. Now, the wavelength is equal to L. The frequency that causes this vibration is wave speed divided by L. When the string vibrates with three loops, there are four nodes, and the wavelength is two-thirds of length L, so the frequency must be this. We begin to see a pattern. If we compare the three modes of vibration side by side, we can assign subscripts 1, 2, and 3 according to the number of loops. We call these harmonics the first harmonic, second harmonic, and third harmonic. So we can generalize this pattern and say that the frequency needed for a particular harmonic is equal to n divided by 2 times the wave speed divided by the length of the string. 